Hey everyone, my name's Vizetti. Welcome back to my channel. And it's a lovely Minecraft morning today. We've got the sun coming up. We've got a flower forest in the background. Someone looks like they've suspiciously planted some sugar cane down there. And a solitary pig going for a walk. But this is actually what I've selected for my new base. So it's a bit ugly because I've got villagers trapped in here. And they're going to be helping me out in this episode. I've got another one over here as well. But he hasn't lost his trade yet. I'm trying to get him to give me mending books. But it hasn't happened. But let's have a look at what we're doing around here. So I thought that this season I would build in the side of a mountain. So if I come over here so we can sort of see what's happening. And it's actually quite a nice area. There's flowers everywhere. So I have taken a big chunk out of there. And this initial level is where I'm going to put some farms and bits and pieces. But I think my main living area is going to be a little bit higher up in the mountain up here somewhere. So I've collected some uh, concrete and I'm producing some glass. And I think I will just build around where the mountain used to end and just have that as a, a glass perimeter and somehow get a, a, an in, a way in to the mountain, to the mountain base. So that is my plan. Getting into it isn't easy. So the easiest way is around the side here. It's, um, you can climb up the side of the mountain quite easily. I think it's over here, might be over there. I'm still getting used to all the fancy things we can do. We can we can swim. So that helps you get places quickly. So this is the easy way in over here. But I am going to set up some kind of, you know, probably just go in a secret door or something. Something high tech. And pop up through here. I've already put a little hole in the ground here. And there is some tunnels going there, but I haven't put anything in them yet. So probably early on I'm just gonna put some ladders this guy looks like he's lost his trade so what I'm doing with him is I'm plonking down a lectern which turns him into a librarian and then you break that turns him back and you rinse and repeat type thing and what I'm hoping is one of these is going to come up with mending so I did buy some mending books from fellow server participants. So some of my things, I've got mending on this one, mending on that, but that is all. So I'd like to get a bit more mending happening. So did we look at that one? Yeah, he's got nothing. So for certain times during the day, you can just keep on doing this. Come on. Nah. And you just keep going until you find a trade that you're interested in. Sweeping edge would be good for the spider farm, but I'm really, really wanting to get the um, get a mending book initially. So anyway, I'm going to continue to do this. So you can only do this certain times of the day. So when it hits like mid afternoon, he stops playing. Let's you know pick your profession. So all right, we'll leave him be. So over here, the other thing I've got planned for today is somewhere. I can't remember which way I set it up. It might be over here. Uh, it's probably over there. I put some torches over there. Can't see them during the day. But I've got four villagers in here. I saw a really good um, villager breeder. This guy's a bit confused. A good villager breeder that I'm going to make and I will, in the next cut, um, tell you who's, whose design it was. I'll put a link down in the description. But it's a, it's a good one. Um, I hope it's a good one. It looks pretty fancy. So it did require four villagers. So I managed to find a village and transported them all over here in boats. And... Working with villagers, that's always, you yeah, know, fun and games. But they're here now. So, what I'm going to do is 
start building the farm over there and I'll just pop back when I'm about halfway through to explain what's going on. So the farm's pretty much complete. The only thing we need now is some villagers, but it is quite a cool design. Like previously my villager farms had the fally down bit around the edges, but it makes a lot more sense to have them sticking out like this. So I really quite like this design and I will put the, actually no, I'll just have a look whose it was right now, Hocus Pocus. So I'll put a link in the description so he i found his um tutorial it was quite good so you can go over there and have a look at the tutorial but this is basically it so i need to get four of the villagers over into here and they will run around planting potatoes and well not potato i've got carrots and they will compost them in here and that gets them ready to breed and the baby ones fall down here and get whisked off to nowhere yet I haven't set that up but let's run over here I've put a little ramp unfortunately it was one higher so that's a bit of a pain with the boats but I've put a piston at the end so we're gonna see I'm hoping I can these don't have a hitbox so I think I can go straight through the torches so let's see I haven't tried this but I've got a piston and a button so let me in he thinks he's driving there we go so, could have lined it up a bit better. Boats on ground. Right. All right, so, can I hit the button? All right, that's the first problem. I am going to at least try once, otherwise we might need to change it to a switch. No. That worked. <laughs> All right, let me fast forward over to the farm. So he's just picked up one of the composters. Now, I don't think I'm going to make it through this gap, am I? No. And changed into whatever village is, I'm not even sure what they, I guess he's a farmer. Um, let me knock out. Yeah, I just realized I named my, my pickaxe wrong. All right, just make a bit of a mess of this and hopefully you can fit through now. Learn something new every day. Let me out. I think I picked it up. So in Hocus Pocus's design, he has a, a slave on top, but I wanted to run the water all the way along underneath. So it made more sense to do it this way. But, so I'm gonna uh, ferry all the other three villages across and then they can just sit there and start planting and doing what they do with the carrots. Eventually it's gonna spit some babies out. So I'm gonna to have to work out what I'm going to do with them. So I've got three more villagers here to go, but something interesting over here. Finally, I got him to come up with, oh no, it's gone. How does that change? Damn it, it was a mending book. Oh, oh well come back to that I don't know why it changed I thought as long as he didn't stay away from his little lectern he'd probably keep it oh oh well anyway I will ferry these guys over there and let them fill up with carrots and we'll probably see some babies popping out but I'm not quite sure what to do with them yet so the farm's all set up, they've been farming and planting, all well and good. And the good news is we have had success. I was a little bit worried initially that we weren't going to get any output, but I've had quite a few, a few of them died suffocating in the walls and stuff. I don't know what's with this one over here, he's got a different outfit on, like, I don't know, is it the wandering trader or something? Or maybe he's a nitwit. 
Is that what nitwits look like? But if I right click on them, they are not interested. But that's good. They were breeding away and I thought this is going to go crazy. So I removed the beds and I put the beds back and I don't have any hearts. So hopefully I haven't broken it. But fingers crossed, we'll have some more villagers. I'm going to put some slabs over the roof because one of them got out. I don't know how he got out. But since then I've put this door in to definitely keep keep them in but I might put a roof over the top just in case so the next thing I'm going to do or have to think about is what am I going to do with the output from the farm and I think I'll probably just put them on rails in mine carts and ship them back over to where we're going to set up the house so Maybe in that level that I've cut out, which is going to be a bit of a farm instead of area, which is a bit silly because I've put farms over here. So I'll have a, a bit of a trading hall going on. I'll work something out with that if I can put them in rails. I'll see what other people have been up to and set something up. So, and this here, I don't really like the new texture. Like, I think this is fully grown, but that sort of looks like the fully grown of old. I uh, don't know why I did that one. I knew that one wasn't. But yeah, so these ones are fully grown. I don't really like it, but I've got this here so I can get some wheat to... There we go. Get back off again. I got some wheat so I can trade with these guys to get some emeralds. Because I've got to get up the emerald supply so when I find a mender down the other end, I can lock him in. So, so yeah, it's another one. What is he? I don't know what it is. I'll have to investigate. I'll do my homework and I'll let you know what I think they turn out to be. Yeah, so anyway, this is just here just to get some wheat so I can trade with those guys. Yeah, they're about the ones I haven't hit. Give me about 20. 20 wheat per emerald. Unfortunately, I did hit a couple of them in the process of getting over here, so they've jacked the prices up. Uh, I've hit him, but I don't have any potatoes. He doesn't like me either. He doesn't like me. Maybe I've slapped them all around. This one likes me. Oh, he's got more. He's going up to an apprentice. These ones are novice. Don't their little badges change or something? Yeah, so he's got a different colour. Um, is it a badge or a sporran? I don't know. Whatever it is. The thing on the belt. So, anyway, that's where we're at currently. It breeds very well. See, and he's just going to run in there like a dumbass. And he is almost as dumb. The, I don't know if they're new, so I'm going to have to suss that out or if they get, they're actually usable villagers. So, all right, that's it. I think next we will try and put some glass around the outside there and see if we can make that look half decent. And if it doesn't look half decent, I will seek your feedback on what we should do to make it look fully decent. Well, it's getting crowded in here. Yep, yeah, talking to you, talking to you. So I did a bit of research and I believe this outfit is the outfit of an unemployed villager from a tiger region. So I don't know what's happening with this one. And I also don't know because we're not in a tiger. We're in a Minecraft mountains. I think. So, anyway, I think that explains what they are. They're unemployed as it is. There's quite a few of them in there now. I might have to switch it off. But the other thing I want to check out, and I don't know if you've seen, but I put a roof on it just in case, is those villagers that don't like me very much because I slapped them about. Can I make them like me? So, not him. I need the wheat one. No, you like me. So this guy here, if I trade with him, is he going to start liking me? Okay, I got him. Did I get him up to the next level? I did, but he still doesn't like me too much. Okay, because I'm not too sure. I can't work out how to make him like me. 
Uh, maybe I just need to kill him and replace him with another one. See? There's an incentive to like me. Okay. All that was all I had to do over here. Now I'm going to go over there and see what I can do with um, putting some glass up. So I had a bit of a go at filling in the base with the um, grey concrete and blue glass. And look, I'm not overly wrapped with it all. So I will be seeking out some help with this. Like it doesn't look too bad. I just think it'd be better if maybe the concrete wasn't there and the glass is bigger or something. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Maybe different color concrete, different color grass, no concrete, grass, glass. So that is, yeah, that's that. Not wrapped, but anyway, we'll see how we go. We do have some good news over here. I have managed to secure a mending book for 14 emeralds. So we can get a few here. So that's cool. And because you trade, the problem I had before is if you don't trade with them, oh, well, you just got cheaper. They um they will lose their they will lose their um, trades. So once you trade with them once, it's locked in. I think even if I take this away, but I'm not quite going to risk it yet. So that is good. We've got many books. So I've got a couple in here already. So that's a few more. So I'll start to do something with my armor and whatnot. One other thing I think is about it as the sun goes down is I've built a mine over here. So this is where I'm going to go and do some strip mining. Let's have a quick look. Got the new little lanterns out there. Pretty cool. So this is the mine entrance. I'm a bit worried it's going to get overrun with vines. I may have to do something with the vines, but um, you can just run through them anyway. Yeah. But yeah, definitely might have to do something with the vines. So this is where we're just going to do some strip mining. So we'll go in and go out maybe a thousand blocks. And I might... Uh, that one's not set up right. I was meant to have some blocks in there. I might... Just put up a little sign saying... You know, 17 diamonds or something. So I'm going to do this one first. A thousand blocks. Comment how many diamonds you think. So that is going to keep me busy. I might do one or two of these every episode. But that is going to do us for this episode. So we got a fair bit done. We've got some villager breeders. And I'm going to start running them up into where their mending villager is. That's going to be the um the trading hall i've also hollowed, hollowed out a level below and i'm going to put some farms in there for some yeah you know, some wheat or or something to trade with the villagers for emeralds so that's probably going to happen next week that um concrete the concrete the cobble path that we run across i want to make that into a bridge so that might happen in the next episode but we've done a fair bit and we've got a mending villager so it's all looking good Anyway, I will see you in the next episode. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me. It helps me out. And if you liked the video, hit that like button. That helps me get the attention of other people. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.